Good morning, and how are y'all doing today? Does that sound better? Anyway, I have been ooh, doing this on my phone. I have been to Harbor Freight and got a new inverter. Jupiter Power Inverters, 1,000 watt. Peak, 2,000 watt. Is uh, my little, um, I don't know if you can see it. Where are we at? Oh, over here. Wow, there we are. This is crazy. 400 watt. Doesn't quite do the trick. So, let's uh, check this out. This is Jupiter 1000 watt. Run your household and tool products from anywhere. Converts. Uh, where is that? Converts vehicle 12, DC, 12 volt DC power to household 120 volt. Power continuous power up to 1,000 watts. Power up three up to three devices at once. Yeah, we'll see about that one. Protection from low and high voltage, high currents, high temperatures, and short circuit. Uh, I would not say that was a pure sign inverter. That's what it sounds like, but uh, yeah, it says the same thing. But anyway, uh, here's all that. You want to read all that? It was on sale for $89, which that's about what the Everstart Walmart inverter is for the 1000 watt. And I haven't been too pleased with this one. I mean, it, it works, but. Seems like if whatever I can plug my laptop into it and it just uh, that fan just goes crazy, and then after about five minutes it starts beeping away because it's getting overloaded. So I don't know. Yeah, I got these aren't just tape. That just put the tape on there to help hold them in better, and uh, that one's loose. No, I guess it is. Yeah, it is. Anyway, um, that's what that is. I'm going to hook up this uh, 1000 watt one and see how it works. I, don't, I hadn't even taken it out of the box. I really don't even know what it looks like other than the picture on the front. Instructions. Yeah, I do like that fact. It's like, uh, what do they call it, for heat disbursement? You know, one thing I, I, it doesn't have is a digital LED readout for the voltage, but I have a voltmeter right there. And you figure, if that little light's on, where's my switch? If that little light's on like that, it's going to drain that battery more. Anyhow, I'm going to get this hooked up, and uh, I want to go somewhere. You don't want to go somewhere? Let's figure out where we're going. I don't know, stay in Texas or go up in Oklahoma or what. This is really pretty out here for November. Hate to waste the day. But this is not wasting it. This is getting ready. All right, I will be back. Well, I got it all hooked up. I had wound up having to go get a heavier cable. I'm just wondering if that's why I wasn't getting good voltage out could be this said to use two aug wire hmm. so, I think I was using 10 so, we'll see how this works out now I'm working on another project got this off of uh, now I'm working on another project Got this off of uh, a trading post to put my bicycle on. Problem is, I haven't figured out how to get a mountain bike on this type. Got to do a little research. 
Alright, I did some checking. And they make a little adapter that goes from here to here. And it'll just be across. Or, you can see from right there to right there. Oh, huh. I guess uh, a good deal wasn't all that good of a deal. But, I don't know. It's a lot easier than trying to load it in and out of here. And this thing is supposed to like tilt down man that's close but yeah it's supposed to lay down so I don't know all right next project let's get this thing loaded up and go somewhere well I ended up not going anywhere but I did come out to our local little lake uh, middle lake lake highway park however you want to call it and uh took some what i hope is some really cool looking pictures i won't uh, bore y'all too much with them i'll just scroll through them real quick and it was supposed to get rain tomorrow but you know how that goes this is texas it could be eight degrees in sunshine or it could be 50 degrees and bone chilling cold rain so who knows but uh lord willing the sun will come up though and we'll all be here tomorrow in the meantime y'all keep on keeping on and i'll see y'all down the road bye